Ah, hello everybody. Got an interesting question from one of our uh, blog, uh, which basically has to do with Twitter. We posted a nice little blog entry about that the other day, and uh, this printer just basically wanted to know, well, here's what he said. Boy, am I out of touch on Twitter. Uh, I have years of experience in printing, etc., etc., printer of books and magazines. How can I do this? How can I get a profile similar to the one you highlight on your blog, you got a print.com. Can I impose on you for advice in utilizing Twitter? Sure, no problem. Actually, what I'm going to do is make a two or three part, um, let's say, mini tutorial on how best a printer can use Twitter because there's several aspects to it. And the first one is just get familiar with what is Twitter. And I'm not going to spend too much time on that, but how to make the background image or your design on Twitter, which is very important because there's a lot of designers who are using Twitter and thus also a lot of opportunities for printers because designers generally are making print work that needs to be printed. All right, good. So the first thing is you want to sign up for an account, which you simply, of course, um, can do here by clicking on Get Started Now. Once you've done that, once you've done that, you can choose your username. Now, I would choose your company name or something unique, something that can identify you from the rest. Well, in this case, we're going to just put in there Joe the Printer. Yeah. Where was Joe the Printer this last election? In any event, hey, I might keep this one. I kind of like it, Joe the Printer. Uh, and then you set up your password. Now, the next part is basically are your friends on Twitter. You can, you can search them. And uh, I normally skip the, these parts. I find that a bit intrusive. I, I find my own friends. And uh, here we are. Now, you always get set up with one automatic follower, just so, so you understand a little bit how it goes. Now, the way you can uh, go out there and find people we'll cover next time. But obviously, they have a, a search function down below. And... Uh, you can also just type in addresses. So, for instance, I know the Marksware Twitter address is Marksware. I click on there, and I can go to the Marksware Twitter page, and I can now click here on Follow. And when I do that, I will now be following them. That's us. And when I go back to my home, I will see all their updates. Of course, I'm only following one person now. The other one was a. Uh, the other one was a. Well, I'm following two. The the original and the other. It's just uh, all Marksware stuff. If I go to my profile, I'll see there's nothing. I haven't done anything. I haven't added a avatar. I haven't added background. So let's go into the settings. and see what's there. Now, set up all this information here. Uh, you want to put your URL because this is uh, um, very important to get people to link into you. One line biography. And whatever else you wanna you wanna have there, save the information, and that will now show up on your on your uh, main screen. Um, yeah, you, you know you can adjust your password here. You can also update via uh, mobile devices like your iPhone or any other uh, mobile phone, which is which is kind of neat. A lot of people use that. There's even cases where people have uh, highly benefited from that, where they've been sort of saved because of 
being able to Twitter stuff from dangerous situations and get help. Uh, your notices are here. Here's where you have your picture. You can change your avatar. And, uh, you know, hit save. It's going to save it. I should show up there now. Uh, and the last part I want to show you today, and that's part of the question that this gentleman asked, and I'll go over the rest of it later, how you can actually use Twitter as a printer to actively uh, promote your, 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 your being, your, your message. It's marketing, but it's also just general information that helps you get customers in this case, in most cases. So you can choose so many different designs. So I can say, well, it's a little wintry. I can choose a winter design. But I can also, and I can change colors and all that, but I can also change background image. Create an illustrator. Uh, you make it a certain size that would cover the screen area, and I can get those details later. You hit the image, and here we have, we saved that out as a JPEG after creating it in, in um, uh, Illustrator. We hit Save Changes. And we should now see it's been saved for Joe the printer. And if we now wait, now we have it. We see it here, the nice background of uh, we just added in there. So you see now how it looks. It looks a lot better than it did before. We have a, our house style, or the way we want to be portrayed on Twitter. We have our avatar loaded up. We have uh, our biography. We have, we're following some people. We don't have any followers yet, but that'll come. And we have a hot link to our, to our website. So that's it for now. Next time we'll go into more details about how you can actually actively use this. It's a great tool. Heck, even President-elect Obama used it uh, a lot during his campaign and, and uh, since then as well. Uh, Twitter is used by many people, Tim O'Reilly, uh, countless others. So check it out. Get set up on Twitter. Come follow Marksware at Twitter on Twitter.com forward slash Marksware. Okay? Come follow us there and ask us questions there. We can help you with your, you know, your Twitter uh, adventures there as well. And uh, here's the uh, Twitter account, here's avatar of Patrick Marchese, founder, co-founder, and CEO of Marksware currently, and you can see all our updates there. Come follow us, and we will uh, uh, love to correspond with you, and more coming later. Thank you.